Hi Aquarius, so today we are going to be doing your love reading. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And we do have, okay, yeah, so we have the moon beneath this. Take note of intuitive messages and shift your perception, the air guardian. Yeah, it's like there's a journey here. There's a there's a deep journey. This this time period right now is a very deep time spiritually. It's a time to again dive into the ocean depths and retrieve hidden knowledge and certain parts of ourselves that we are receiving and and kind of um, downloading and, and integrating. And with this shift your perception, I feel like this is for somebody who needs to know that it's like I'm getting a building or I guess you can say a tree cannot stay forever inf infinitely. It can live a very long time, but it's not going to stand for infinity. Um, and so there's a need to allow maybe certain things to collapse, certain things to be let go of. I feel like somebody here needs to hear that, that, you know, maybe it's time to let go of certain things. Um, it's like I'm getting, it's already been done. Something has already been completed. Um, kind of a morbid way of, of them showing it to me, but it's like the grave has already been dug and the, the um, dirt has been put back over it. But this is just a metaphor. It, I promise it's a metaphor, the way Spirit's showing. It's like you've already kind of paid the debts with it. You've already um, done something to close the cycle out so you don't have to go back and you know unbury it we have the hanged man here i'm hearing or i'm seeing actually a, a card from a different deck that says if you were not afraid what would you do so there's a message here coming up to maybe going into a different kind of section or a different message um, that now is really a time to allow yourself to ask yourself that question that if you were not afraid if nothing held you back if fear didn't hold you back fear of failure fear of, of people's opinions if none of that mattered what would you do and i think they want here you to strip away that feeling i'm being shown something about childhood so this could be some inner child wounds um it's kind of a silly reference but like when i was a kid i remember running down to the swings and we had to kind of race who was going to get the swings because it was a like a far run to get there um and i remember that was like so devastating if i didn't get the swing and somebody else took it from me um and there's always like this competition with it so i don't know why that's coming up maybe some of you this is connected to a childhood wound that you may have about not being good enough or uh, something like that but yeah if you were not afraid what would you do and I'm hearing intuition is louder than your ego so yeah it's really time to listen to your intuition I feel like um, yeah it's this is this is a really good time to listen to your intuition and there's just something coming up here with the hanged man of like your intuition knows something right now that you cannot possibly know by listening to your ego or your mind and i don't know what that is it could be something that you feel a certain calling or urge to do or it could even be about a person around you or some situation but there's a strong feeling here of don't discount or dismiss what your intuition is telling you and it just is going to require this shift in perspective to follow that um, the star is here too and the devil's beneath that and the high priestess and the hermit wow so we have all these major cards here so we have one two three four five major arcana here at the bottom Yeah, but it, the main focus of this message I feel that they want to talk about is when you truly follow your intuition, that's when magical things can happen. And with the star here, the devil is the opposite of that. The devil, and here's the high priestess. So um, 
I just feel like with the star, this is a message for somebody that it's time to kind of shift your perspective on what's possible for your life, what you're capable of, what um, what your intuition tells you that maybe, again, your mind doesn't agree with it sometimes, or you feel there's been a constant battle between what you kind of know intuitively and what you're being either asked to do or what you think you should do or something like that. And it's like, I just keep getting, don't wait on your dreams or don't wait on something with the star here. Um, yes, it could be a good time here to kind of be in a bit of a introspective time to go inward with the moon here in the hanged man. But, but at the same time, I'm getting the, the broader message here of this is to don't feel like you have to stay stuck or to waste your time on not progressing or not moving forward. It's about the inner, not the outer. So that's really what this whole reading feels like it's about. Um, at least the main kind of framework of the message is it's about the inner self, not the outer. So that could be not the external world, not the external opinions, but it's about what's inside here. So definitely a really good time again to listen to your intuition. Um, somebody needs to really follow that intuition. I'm also hearing nothing will pass you by that is meant for you. So if you feel worried that you will miss something or that you won't, yeah, that you'll miss something, that's not the case. And I'm getting to, if this is something about because I think for a lot of you, this seems like it's about your like abundance mindset. It's about something to do with like how many flies are you catching in your spider web? And you may think that you can only catch one, but you can actually catch hundreds. And that's where this shift your perspective comes in. We have the pilgrim here too. And the cave is at the bottom. Yeah, and the ocean. So see, what's the water? So much depth here, so much watery energy. And it's just time to kind of take what's inward and put it outwards. So for a lot of you, it's time to, again, follow your intuition to come out of the cave with, with the wisdom that you've acquired here in the ocean. I'm hearing something is coming back to life with the two, uh, with the judgment card here. We're well, not judgment, but the pilgrim, it's not judgment at all. So I guess, I don't know why I said judgment, but um, I guess with the numbers here reminding me of judgment, but I guess it could be judgment. Something is coming back to life, I'm hearing with the pilgrim. coming back to life yeah ace of wands and the eight of pentacles I'm hearing I again something about the self here I like me myself and I um, eight of pentacles eight, ace of wands we have brought you here for a reason so this could be connected to the last reading I did. I think I titled it something about your ancestors have a message. It could be connected because it feels like this could be for some of you who need to know that you've been brought to a certain kind of voyage or journey, um, or you're going on that journey for a reason. And so with the star here coming up too, you could have somewhere that you're being taken, somewhere that you're being yeah, that you're being taken to and spirit saying that we brought you here for a reason. It could even be that we brought you here to earth for a reason, but I'm just getting, we have brought you to a certain journey for a reason. And something is coming back to life that I feel 
it's for a lot of you it's it's mainly like with the star there's some hope being brought back into your life and i think with this eclipse we've had to it has been pushing it to the surface it's like with the ocean here and the cave something which was at the bottom of the ocean is being pushed up to the surface to become something in the in the in the land like with the with the um pentacles and the fire so it's bringing something to life that was at one point underneath basically um which can be for a lot of you something connected to your intuition your subconscious your dreams your goals it could be something else too i think we'll get more here well we will get more here and see what comes up but it's like i'm being shown a target you're hitting the certain target like a bullseye with this ace of wands so you're heading somewhere you're going somewhere so whoever needs to hear this message if you if this is for you you are heading somewhere for a reason you're going somewhere for a reason or you're about to and it's like they're bringing me back to that message now if you were not afraid what would you do and i'm getting the moon here is connected to some fears that we all have but i'm getting something to do with like your perception again of, about what's possible or yeah like what's possible or can something turn out the way that you want it to or can you get what you want or, or can you do the certain thing that you want to do um and that's what i'm getting with this here so and i am noticing at the bottom beneath these two cards was the heart guardian love and let yourself be loved and so there's a lot of water coming up so this could be also a really good time to work on self-love you might be finding that it's like it's all connected here to what you feel worthy of what you feel enough to receive um and i feel like your perception of that might have been changing recently about like what it is that you truly are deserving of being everything and i think that it could take a lot of work to crack open the heart because we have to go down to the depths of the ocean to do so because we have to when, when we love ourselves or when we look deeper into our hearts it's not always easy to do that and that's what i think for a lot of you this is kind of the root of it is but when you open your heart through this change through this portal kind of that we're moving through it feels like you again you're going somewhere for a reason you're going to be brought somewhere for a certain reason i'm being shown a camera and somebody looking at photos from the past so that could be literal but it also could just be metaphorically speaking like looking at photos of the past um maybe memories being wrapped up into old memories I'm hearing celebrate yourself. Celebrate yourself for how far you've come, how much you've changed maybe. For somebody specific, um I don't know how this will connect exactly, but I'm hearing something about you thought that this like you thought when something ended or something didn't work out, you thought that was kind of it for you or you thought there was nothing that could make you happy again or or you thought that kind of your life as you wanted it to be would be over um and that's with that reference of something coming back to life with the pilgrim here and how i saw as judgment so something is coming back to life we'll see a little bit more what that is exactly but spirit can you tell us here how are my angels helping me to pursue my passion and purpose yeah and look at this what does my life purpose and mission entail so these are a bunch of different topics they're not just about life purpose so two cards that talk about life purpose and mission so that's probably what this is mainly about i feel with the star um somebody who needs to hear this about your life purpose your mission 
they're bringing you somewhere for a reason. If you do resonate with this and you haven't watched the reading I did about your ancestors have a message, you probably want to watch that because I think it could be connected for sure. Um, Yeah, it's like things are being prepared with this Eight of Pentacles. Something is being prepared here and your angels are trying to get you to to help you to shift your perspective when it comes to this passion and purpose. And I'm being shown like a marshmallow. You know, what's inside is soft and tender and intuitive. So I don't know if some of you here watching, you know, you are psychics or healers yourself you definitely could be i tend to pick up on a lot of um souls like that so you might be because it's like with the marshmallow you know it's like tender inside which i'm seeing as your vulnerability and being able to be vulnerable with yourself being able to be vulnerable with your yeah your like your self-love and who you are as a soul and why you're here on earth and that can unlock many doors with this ocean and the cave and the moon here. So maybe you've been, I don't know if you've been ignoring that marshmallow side of you or if it's something that you just haven't fully accepted or accessed or you're just beginning to. And I'm being shown now something is trying to poke at the marshmallow. So maybe you have certain people or situations that are trying to poke at you to, I don't know, maybe purposely, or this is your own mind poking at your, your own tenderness. Um, I hope that makes sense. And there's a feeling of something is trying to, or has, has tried to block your path somehow um, of what you're truly meant to do. Look, so Ace of Pentacles and the Sun. I mean, really, really beautiful energy. The Magician here too. So there's a really strong message here for whoever found this reading that it's like the, I'm hearing the gates are open. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles, the Sun. In this deck, it almost looks like the Chariot too, but the gates are open. And I'm hearing, you know, no more holding back. There's something of like a fear of if I do this again, I will fail. Or if I do this, I don't know what that is, but something with the sun here that you really can't fail kind of right now. It feels like when the gate is open, the gate is open because this gate is the sun. It's not just a small gate. It's something much larger than you can imagine. And some of you need to let go though of something, which again, I, I don't know, it feels, let me actually see, what is what is this about letting go? Because I'm almost seeing like holding hands with some somebody or something, but not willing to let go of holding that hand. And I don't know if that's something to do with like a childhood fear I don't know if it's something not good for you that you're holding on to but there's just something about like it's time to let go of the hand now it's time to yeah it's time to let go of the hand now and and to set yourself free in that way okay there's a very strong message coming up here too this is kind of specific I would say um, but for some of you, especially if you are identifying as a feminine energy or you have predominantly feminine energy, there's a message here about using that more in its purest form um, and tapping into the depths of your feminine nature here to unlock this. We had the Hierophant too. Yeah, there's a lot of major cards here.
Yeah, there's, there is a message here, which I know won't be for, for everyone, but there's a message here about if you have followed some certain tradition that has been, you know, maybe against what you truly believe in your heart, or you followed a certain, I don't know, like rule book or something from childhood, maybe, or certain conditioning uh, that you felt that you've been holding on to, even though it's either not you anymore, or it's time to break out of that mold. Um, and that's something that you are being guided to do here. The Nine of Wands and the Tower. So look how many major cards we have here. Let me, okay, let me get a little bit more here. What else? Autumn, release the old and rest. You are not alone, guardian angel. Yeah, I feel like you have a really strong support system here spiritually. So if this reading is for you, again, that's probably why you found it or why you feel drawn to it, especially if, you know, if it randomly popped up, there's a feeling of like, you know, you're with the Hierophant here too, a, a, like a team of, of spirits here around you um, that have come through in the reading here today to send you this message and it's like it's time to release now it's time to again like let go of something but at the same time you're being led also by spirit in a way that you can feel safe to be led down this path so it's not that you're letting go with no support it's more of like you're backed up kind of by something you know you're you're protected with this i'm getting something about speaking two different languages and needing to understand each other so i don't know if they're branching off into a different message here about uh, like um, a person around you or what that is. It could also be understanding spirit more maybe, like communicating with spirit more clearly or needing to understand, kind of be in sync here. Um, yeah, so how can I tap in more to my inner child? Definitely there's a message here about inner child since I brought up like the swing sets to um, there's a feeling of that. There's definitely something connected here for whoever this is for, that the magic kind of within you is within your inner child with the moon here in the ocean and the, it's like I'm getting Queen of Cups energy, even though we don't have the Queen of Cups, it just gives me that feeling. And I'm hearing it's time to go with the true self and not against the self. Um, so really, the sun too can be an inner child card it can be a card of just being very authentic within ourselves so it's time to be a, it's time to be the authentic you we have where is this connection headed so yes there is a message here about love too I'm hearing the voice of Abraham Hicks in my mind, and I haven't listened to her in many years, so I don't know if somebody's listening to her, or maybe you, you know, I don't know, you want to check her out, Abraham Hicks, Law of Attraction. And specifically, because I think somebody could probably recognize this video. Again, I haven't heard it in years, but there's like some video she talks about, or it's like a somebody made a video to like a motivational version of her voice. And she says something like, help is on the way, or um, don't worry, help is on the way. I don't know, I just keep hearing that help is on the way, but it's in her voice from that video. Um, so I, th I feel like what this is saying is that, you know, again, there's help from the universe on the way. And it's all about trusting 
that you are supported. You know, that again, if you're not afraid, what would you do? And for some, I'm hearing generational curses. So this is maybe like a really big deal, you know, to break generational curses here. Um, once you once you set your foot in, you'll never go back. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of messages here. I would say that for most of you, if you you know are here, um, you probably are not, you know, you're probably living a quite spiritual life already, but I'm just getting something about like breaking out of the matrix and how it's time to, yeah, it's time to break out of like certain, certain belief systems, or if you feel heavily entrenched in that somehow still, um, this is time for a major milestone, a major breakthrough to bloom to attract, to glow. It's like I'm getting a lot of you here. Again, if this resonates with you, you may have, it's like if you have a treasure chest full of your gifts, but you had to stuff them away. You had to, I think this came up in the last reading too. If you had to stuff them away somehow because of family, because of pressures, because of maybe just whatever the case was here, it feels like as you open that treasure chest, it's like full of fireflies or fairies and they all fly around you. And it's like, there's so much magic in that when you open it because this is the real you blooming. This was the real potential within you starting to bloom now. So it's a really beautiful reading. And I'm being shown a clock and it was going backwards and then it just stopped and now it's going forwards. So that's like the feeling of maybe like no more living in the past or no more of the backwards motion of your life or if you felt like your life was moving backwards, um, now it's beginning to move forward. It's like somehow the clock was, yeah, see, eight of wands, things are, yeah, the chariot, things are moving forward. Where is this connection heading? What is this here for? What is this here? Before we go, um, what is, where is this connection heading? What is that? Okay, the Ten of Cups, the Page of Cups. Tell me a little bit more. Five of Swords. I'm hearing that song by Leanna Lewis, Better in Time. It'll all get better in time. Even though, even though I really loved you, I'm going to smile because I deserve to. It'll all get better in time. I think that's how it goes. Hmm. Give me a little bit more, Spirit. What is this? Where's this connection heading? Because there's some connection here, I feel. Page of Cups, Ten of Cups. Um, but others of you are healing from something right now. Knight of Wands. Lay down the sword. Two of Cups, Three of Wands, Lay Down the Sword. 
Okay, so I'm seeing like something being cut out of a paper. Like if you <laughs> draw your stick figure family and then you cut it out of the paper and then you have that paper with you as like you're carrying it with you because you're manifesting it sort of or you are calling it in um, or it's like a picture perfect vision kind of of what you want here in your future especially when it comes to romance and friendships and connections and What, what am I missing here with this message? Why, why did this come through? There's too many cards. Because I'm being shown like a one of those jack-in-a-box where something keeps popping up out of the blue and you, you are shocked to see it again or you're shocked when it comes up. And I don't know if they're referring to something on and off here that you've been dealing with and maybe something has been sort of shocking you because it's been popping in and out of your life unexpectedly or if this is like some surprise coming into your life with this here um do have the underworld anima mundi You know, there's something very interesting here with this. There's something that I feel, I just can't, I don't, it feels like something is aligning. See all these kind of symbols. Something is supposed to align, I guess you can say, like in divine timing or when the time is right. And also in a very unexpected kind of, or I was gonna say the word spectacular. I don't normally say that, but spectacular way. But there's poison here. There's some poison in your life though. So there's poison in maybe a connection that you've been dealing with. There's poison with a certain way of doing things with a, with a connection. So I don't know. I don't think they're gonna give me much more on that. I'll probably have to do a separate love reading because I don't know why nothing more is coming through with this here. Maybe some of you just need to reflect on that question. If you have a connection already in your life now, you maybe need to ask yourself, where is this connection heading? What do I need to know about where this connection is heading? How can I, yeah. What important lessons is this person providing for me? So yes, some of you, there's a person here that you might need to reflect on how is this person contributing right now to my life? What lessons are they providing for me? And because I'm being shown some some form of like almost like a, a wasp attack where, you know, you, you open the door and then all these wasps attack you um, and the wasps can represent the poison sort of of the situation or of what it's bringing out in you. And so there's definitely a message about that, that for those of you dealing with the very on and off or difficult situation or difficult relationship, um, or just something which the poison is within you, maybe you're repeating patterns in love, you have a person who's providing these lessons for you. Um, there's a message here about needing to reflect on that question. And then with this 10 of cups, I feel like this is actually more about It's more about your clear vision for your future. Like I said, cutting something out and taking it with you and kind of asking yourself, is this in alignment with that? Is this person the one who's in alignment with my vision of what I want for my long-term future or whatever it is that you want here? And I think that the two could be kind of contradicting each other. And so there might be a need for you to address that and to look at that. How can I attract more positive experiences into my life? Yeah, so with the Page of Cups and the Ten of Cups here too, not limited to just love, but 
it feels like I'm, I'm hearing something about feeling safe for this feeling safe for positivity maybe there's been too much instability to where now you can feel safer or you sh should feel safer or trying to feel safer to enjoy life and to bring more positive experiences into your life here. The worlds, another major card. So there's a significant chapter closing I'm being shown boiling point. Like if you're boiling water, it's reached boiling point. You've been waiting for it to boil for a long time and now it's boiling. I think the boiling can refer to just the time kind of is time to let go or time to surrender or time, even like with the um, yeah nine of swords and the page of wands, yeah, boiling point, which how to word it, it's kind of like a feeling of now we're at the boiling point so we don't have to wait anymore for the water to boil but it's also like our issues or fears or whatever has been in that water has reached the boiling point to where now again it's over sort of or we can't go further than the boiling point because it's already boiling so now we can use that boiling to create something new or passion in our lives with the page of wands So it's like this cycle has wrapped up, something has finalized, something has come to a conclusion. And for some, maybe this, you know, connection or a certain situation in your life has, again, it's been boiling and now maybe it started as warm water and now it's boiling. So we can't really, we can't really get anything from that situation anymore because it's done, it's boiled, it's over kind of thing. Um, ego death two worlds transition and then we have journey so pilgrim and journey some of you could be moving relocating or traveling somewhere significant but there's also a feeling here again connected to this message here that the boiling reference can also be ego death. It can be very difficult to go through an ego death. It can be very difficult to kind of make necessary changes and sacrifices. And I think that's what the whole reading was connecting back to the water here, the ocean and the cave and the, uh, the moon. Because with the water here too, Yeah, so I'm going to get one final animal card and then we'll leave it there. Wouldn't be surprised if we get a sea creature. <laughs> what is the final animal spirit card that we need to know here to close up the reading? What is the final animal card that we need to know to close up the reading? Nope, we have bison and abundance. So this is complete earth energy, like really strong earth energy. So that's beautiful. Sacred buffalo, cloak me in your wisdom. Keep me warm throughout the storms of life. Fill my life with goodness. Teach me the way of gratitude and prayer. Yeah, this is like a really good message to close up the reading because I feel like this is saying exactly what the reading has said to allow yourself to receive abundance, allow yourself to have positive experiences, allow yourself to be happy, to be joyful, to trust in the universe, trust in yourself, trust your inner child, trust in um, your heart and not your ego With because because with this nine of swords here, again, something has boiled and it's like, it's just... It's just damaging at this point. 
so yes with the abundance sorry there was some noise behind me um yes with the abundance here definitely a really strong energy of this to allow this abundance and i'm getting like a screen of dancing images of joy and happiness and everything is kind of dancing in front of you let let life play out in front of you like a movie trusting your intuition and your higher self and your spirit guides to guide that forward for you so i'm going to leave it here i hope that this reading could help whoever this is for thanks so much for joining here um, if you did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up i'd really appreciate it and i will talk to you all next time take care and lots of love